Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about the election. And we're going to talk about what we can learn from it. And we're going to see if we can figure out what the strategies are going to be in 2022 and 2024. What the Republicans are going to do, what Democrats might try, what's going to work and what won't. And we're going to see if we can figure that out based on what just happened. Okay, so we'll start off with what's the Republican strategy going to be? They're going to scare people. That's going to be the strategy. They're going to run on fear-mongering. Why? Because it worked. It worked. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to try to create moral panic and scare people. What will not defeat this? A centrist Democrat screaming, I'm not Trump. It's not going to work. I'm not Trump only gets you so far. Okay. So that didn't succeed. That's basically what occurred in Virginia, if you're wondering. Um, So the question that Democrats need to answer is how do you get the voters out in cities, in numbers? How do you get them to show up? How do you get them energized? Especially considering that's the base. Those are the voters that Democrats count on. How do you get them to show up? And I know progressives right now are just super excited knowing that I'm going to talk about Boston. Right. Okay, so you have Michelle Wu. The thing is, while that's a, it's a cool election, it's an important victory, I get it. On a national scale, it's Massachusetts. A progressive winning in Massachusetts isn't really stop the presses. Um, not in and of itself. There are other characteristics about the new mayor, the incoming mayor, that make that story interesting. But it's not simply, well, she's progressive. Massachusetts isn't going to be a good barometer. We need to know what it's going to take to win in places like Ohio and Florida. We need to know what's going to get out voters in Cleveland, Cincinnati, Dayton, St. Pete, places like that. That's what we need to know. The thing is, it's the same answer. A young, inspiring, energetic, progressive. That's what it takes. Because that's what won in all those places. In uh, St. Pete, it's, uh, it's worth noting that literally every candidate endorsed by labor won. But one I want to point to is Richie Floyd. Okay. Now, the people in St. Pete probably love him because, from what I understand, uh, pretty involved in, in getting the minimum wage increased here, right? Um, but beyond that, there's something interesting about this particular candidate. If you were to go to the Twitter profile, look in the bio, you will see organizer for DSA. Democratic Socialists of America, in the bio, one in Florida. I would imagine that every political advisor worth their salt would have said, you need to get that out of your bio if you're going to run in Florida. But they won. Um, In, uh, what, the 20th district, you had Sheila McCormick. She won. Basically ran on a platform of UBI, Medicare for All, and living wage. If you want people to show up, you're going to need somebody energetic and inspiring and progressive. That's what it's going to take. Democrats, especially those in the establishment, in the decision-making process, need to remember it is a coalition party. You have center-right, centrist, center-left, social democrats, democratic socialists, and then like you have some like hardcore lefties who vote Democratic Party begrudgingly, like out of harm reduction. They don't actually even like the Democratic Party. Um, if you want the more left groups of that coalition to show up, you have to give them something to show up for. If you look at the uh, current state of things, You have a centrist president, 
with legislation that's being held up by two Democratic centrists, the idea that a centrist is going to be the solution isn't going to fly with a lot of people. Now, besides that, you have the aspect of the Republican strategy. Fear-mongering. Scary. Be afraid. You know what would be a good counter to that? A bunch of young, inspiring, energetic people. People who can get them, who can get the independence, the undecided voters, to understand that, yeah, the world is scary, but we can make it through it. The Republicans are scared. We got that. We understand. But we can't become paralyzed by fear. We can't just stop. We have to keep moving forward. People who can inspire, that's what they need. If they want to win in 2022 and 2024, that's the formula. They run a bunch of centrist Democrats whose whole platform is we're not as bad as Trump will be or Trump endorsed candidates, they will lose. Um, People inside the Democratic Party need to take note of that. They need to take note of these smaller wins that are in locations that matter because those can those can translate into larger wins later. You got nothing to lose. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.